When it comes to modding your BMW, you can spend thousands on performance upgrades, but maybe you're not there. Maybe you just want to get a couple extra horsepower and make sure you have excellent engine health. Today, we're gonna to show you the cheapest and easiest performance mod for your S55 powered M2 Competition M3 or M4. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Today, we are going to show you how to install K&N drop-in filters for your S55 M2 Competition M3 or M4. So what's so great about these? A, they are extremely inexpensive. B, they're gonna give you better flow for better performance. And C, they have a million mile warranty, so they're gonna last the life of your car. Now, before we get started with the installation, what we are going to do is we have a little microphone over here. We also have a microphone on the camera and the camera is going to remain in the exact same spot. We're gonna do some sound clips before, then we're gonna do some sound clips after to see if there's any sound improvements as well. So let's give us some revs on a completely stock motor. Now, as far as the tools are concerned, it's always good to have some kind of fender protection here to protect the front bumper. Next, you're going to need a 13 millimeter. You're going to need a 10 millimeter. You're also going to need a T25. Now, I have it on a double extension, so it is super long. This way, we can leave everything in, undo some screws and take it out, and we'll show you more in a minute. You're going to need a 10 millimeter, and then you are going to need a little tool to pry up on some of these plastic rivets. So with that, let's get started over here. First thing we're going to do, we're going to remove these plastic rivets. So the way that this works, it has a little center portion. You pop that up, it's gonna look just like that. And then what you can do is just pop up the rest. So there's one here, and this is the same on the other side. And then also on this side, there's another one right down here. So if you look right there, there's one more. Next, there are three plastic nuts. You wanna take a 10 mil. You wanna turn it counterclockwise 90 degrees. That's going to release the clip. And then once you've done that, you're gonna lift it up and you're gonna slide it out from over there. So this is gonna lift up, slide it out and set it to the side. So once you've done that, you can do the exact same thing to the other side. Now, while you have your 10 millimeter out, there is a 10 millimeter that connects the carbon strut to your coolant reservoir. So take this out here. It's gonna look just like that. Next, you're going to need a 13 millimeter to remove the eight bolts that hold your carbon strut on. Now, if you have a 2018 or newer, sometimes they use e-torque, so just be mindful of that. So at this time, you can remove all these. Now, one thing to note, when you remove them, you may notice that most of them are long and there are two short ones. The short ones are going to go in the front, long ones in the back. Now, while we're in this area up here, one thing I do wanna note is this is a positive terminal. If you touch it to any grounding point, you are going to cause a spark. You can either disconnect the battery or if you have a rubber glove, you can just throw that on it. Once you've done that, take the rubber on this side, flip it up, and you could do the same on the other side or you could just slide it out and carefully remove your carbon strut and put it in a safe location. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take our T25 on a double extension and we are going to carefully release all of the screws that hold the top of the air box onto the bottom. So we're gonna release them, but you're not gonna pull them fully out, they're gonna stay in the lid. Then we're gonna open the lid and swap the filters. Let's get started. All right, with this loose, you're gonna carefully just wiggle it around a little bit, lift it up, and just reach in here and pull out your filter. All right, so let's open the box with our new filters. So we have our filters and then some information and a sticker. So what we need to do now is we need to match it up to make sure that we have the correct filter. So 
this is going to be this one. So as you can see, it is cotton. And the benefit of this over paper is it is washable. So you can literally have it the life of the car. It's also gonna give you better filtration and it's going to allow better airflow, which is gonna give you more performance. So it's a win, 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 win. <laughs> Okay, so then what you can do, everything pretty much in the reverse order. You just slide it in just like that. Then you line up all the screws again and tighten it down. Then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Now what we can do is we can reinstall our carbon strut brace that we removed earlier. Now what we're going to do is we are going to torque all of those 13 millimeter bolts to 12 foot pounds. Then the last part of the process is to reinstall the engine bay plastics. Now that everything's fully installed, let's see how it sounds. So as you see in this video, this modification is easy to install, it's very affordable, it's going to give you performance, and as we just heard, you get to hear a little bit more turbo spool, nothing crazy, but hey, it's an extra benefit. If you're interested in K&N drop-in filters for your BMW, be sure to see the links in the description. Once again, my name is Brian, thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.